All right, hi everybody and welcome to my garage. We're gonna try to make a video today, which I've never done before, so bear with me. I really hate being on camera. Uh, I have to change some bearings on the swing arm down here, and uh, so I thought I'd introduce you, if you're not familiar, to the bushing driver set and the ball joint press. So, this down here is a swing arm out of my friend's four-wheeler, which he let go for way too long, and the bearings got destroyed. What I have here is a replacement swing arm that he had to buy. This side I've already pressed the bearings out of. This side you're going to watch me press out, and we're going to press some new bearings in. This is what's going to come out of the swing arm. This bearing is no good. The surface is all rusted. The little needle roller bearings inside are all dried out. It should not make that noise. This is what actually came out of his swing arm because he let it go so long. Notice there are no needle bearings. So that's what we're going to change today. First off, I'm going to put, off, put on my dorky safety glasses. Second of all, I'm going to show you the tools. So this is a bushing driver set. We're going to use a couple of these. This down here is our ball joint press. We're going to use this. I think I have all the tools laid out that I need. And again, bear with me, I absolutely hate being on camera. So I'm going to take our ball joint press. It gets stored with the screw in there like that. I'm going to take this out, turn this around. This is how it gets used. I'm going to pop out this little rubber seal here. Now the bearing is inside here, and there's a little steel collar here that has to come out as well. So we're going to be pushing it out in this direction. We have a socket that fits in here and rests against the bearing that slips through the swing arm. We have a larger socket that's bigger than what we're going to press out, but it rests on the edge of the swing arm just like that. We have a piece of our bushing driver set that fits here into the ball joint press. I'm going to set this like that. Tighten this up by hand. And we're going to take our electric impact gun, set it to tighten, and we're going to drive the bearing out. And you can see it's moving. It stopped because that little collar has bottomed out inside the socket, so we have to take that out. collar. Now we're going to put the socket back in place. Press it a little further. And it should be out. And it's most of the way. By this point, I should be able to give it just a little tap, and it's out. So here's our bad bearing. We'll take this rag, clean up in here a little bit. Make sure the inside of our bore is nice and clean, which you can probably see it's not. You guys know I'm not much for small talk, but I hope you're all doing well. For some reason I can stand in front of you and give lessons all day long, but I clam up when I'm on camera. So, that's about as clean as it needs to be for what we're going to do here. We're going to reach over here and take our new bearings out. I can 
get the box open. So this kit comes with new bearings, new seals, new little steel collars, and then for when this assembly goes back into the machine, bearing caps with rubber seals in to keep the water and dirt out and new metal sleeves to go inside the new bearings. So for now all we need is the new bearing. So here's our new bearing. To help this bearing slide nicely into the swing arm we're going to lubricate it. If I've never shown you this stuff before, this is basically just a wax stick that you can use to lubricate things. It's really good for pressing bearings. So I'm going to use this like a crayon. We're going to color some wax on here. Shout out to my wife for videotaping this. Tape, let's tape. Recording this. Just doing it on my cell phone. So we need to press this inside the swing arm like so. So if I was to hit this with a hammer I would damage the outside edge. That's a hardened steel outer race. They call that a drawn cup. If I hit this with the hammer I'm going to dent it. It's not going to go in properly. It should press in fairly smoothly so I shouldn't need anything more than this C-clamp. If I do I still have the ball joint press here for a little extra force. So this C-clamp I'm going to use is bigger than the bearing. I should be able to set this right up. And press it in just like this. It's important to get it straight, so as I start to tighten the C-clamp, I have to adjust this and make sure it's going to go in straight. adjustment to get it to go. And there it goes. So this has taken hardly any effort with my hand to push that in there. Get it that far. At this point, the edge of that bearing is flush with the edge of the swing arm, but it actually needs to be recessed because of this metal collar that has to go in there. So we have to get out another tool. My sophomores and up will remember our caliper. So I'm going to measure the depth of this little step. That's how far in this presses into the swing arm. That reads 195 thousandths, so almost two tenths of an inch. So that's how far in I have to push that. This is where my bushing driver set's going to come in. This piece here is small enough to fit inside, but large enough to get a pretty good grab on the outer edge of that bearing. I'll put my caliper away. C-clamp back in place. I'm going to go a little at a time until we get that bearing pressed in as deep as we have to. tricky to get it started and straight. And there it goes. Just a little bit. There it 
check our depth. A little ways to go still. Now if I go too deep on this, it doesn't hurt anything in this application. There's extra room that bearing can actually go in deeper than it needs to. And we are in deep enough. So at this point, I basically need to put some grease inside this bearing. And put our little seal in over here, which also needs to be greased. So I already have my grease gun over here. We'll grab, grab a nice green grease. Work that into that bearing. A little bit more. Before I final assemble this into the machine, I'm also going to put some grease on this collar. For now, I'm just going to put a little grease on this seal. These seals have a lip. On the inside edge, you can see there's a little lip right here. I'm catching with my fingernail. That always is going to face in towards the lubricant you're trying to hold in. The outside is basically flat. There's a little groove in here. You need to have grease in that groove to help it seal. And a little bit of grease on the outside of the seal is going to help it press in. These press in very lightly. I can probably almost do it with my fingers. And we got it started. Now that it's started, I'm just going to use my clamp to make sure it goes in straight. Okay, so that's in there straight and flush. I'm going to put the bearing in the other side. So, same procedure. Take our new bearing. Take our wax. into position again. It's so getting tricky to get this to start straight. Collar to countersink it. Take our caliper and check it. it's good. Alright, so basically the procedure is going to be the same on this side. I'm going to put a little bit of grease on here, put my seal in place, and then I'm going to reinstall it into the machine. So, 
Hopefully you enjoyed our little lesson on driving out bearings and driving new ones in. Kind of a simple lesson, but if you've never seen any of these tools in use before, kind of a valuable one. So hopefully you enjoyed it more than I did because I really hate being on camera. And I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, stay tuned because I bought a transmission for one of my trucks and I think I'm going to tear that apart on camera too. Later on I'm going to go and get a socket big enough to fit this from my father's house because I don't have a big enough socket and I'm going to show you how to use a puller to pull this yoke off. Alright, bye guys.